Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Cassie J. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for y'all. I have so much stuff in front of me to show y'all today. So, if you guys are ready to see the literal biggest Dollar Tree haul that I have ever done, then just keep watching. So I'm not gonna do an outfit of the day because it's super late. Just washed off all my makeup, did my skincare. I am so excited to show you guys everything that I got. First of all, look at my cute cup that I got from Meyer. It was like $14 and it came with this yellow straw, but it also has a little sip top. You can open and shut it if you want to, if you don't want to use the straw. It's a friend's cup. You guys know how obsessed I am with friends and it just has everybody's names on it with the famous peephole frame thing. First, before I get into the Dollar Tree stuff, I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I got from Five Below and then one thing that I got from Walmart. I got four pairs of sunglasses. I got some pairs to add to my collection from Five Below. I got these ones and I don't know if they're supposed to resemble a butterfly, but that's what they look like to me and I'm like so into butterflies right now. They're like pink to purple ombre and then they're super, super thin arms so cute i love sunglasses so much that i don't even care how silly a pair will look on me like if i like them i'm gonna wear them anyway i don't care i just love sunglasses so much but these are super cute these are from the brand i rock the next pair that i got were these simple square ones but i got them obviously because they're pink ones are from the brand streetwise Oh my god, super cute. These ones just have very tinted lenses. And then I got these regular aviators. I'm obsessed with aviators, but I really liked these ones because of the bar. And the bar has this textured design on it. And then again, I love these really thin and dainty arms. And then they're dark purple to brown ombre. So cute. Love these. I know summer is over, but who cares? The brand for those ones were Iraq. And the last pair that I got were these. These don't have like a frame around them. They're just the lenses, which I liked. Then I also liked how they had the thin arm. And then they're just like dark black to blackish purple. And then these are, it says distributed by Eye King. So cute. I got these matching hats. There's like an adult one and then this one's for the dog. I don't have the adult one to show you because Kyler's wearing it, but it looks just like this, except it says pumpkin spice. And then the dog one says everything nice. I already took him for a walk in it and he was rubbing himself in the bushes and stuff and got like little pickers all over it. And then I grabbed this. I've never really liked LA Colors until recently. I've been trying out their stuff, but I got this Ultimate Cover Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I love this giant doe foot. It's so nice. Yeah, I like this a lot. It's going to be one of my new favorites for sure. I grabbed some Halloween earrings. I'm obsessed with jewelry. I have like the hugest jewelry collection in the whole wide world. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. It would be a very long video because I've got probably 300 pairs of earrings. No joke. I got these super cute skull earrings. They're like the Day of the Dead skulls. I got heart eyes. They're silver. Distributed by Unique Designs. Then I got this set. There were five pairs of earrings in here. And Keisha's got the other one of these. It's just like a dangly, sparkly spider there's the little stud spiders and then these web cuff earrings and then the little skeleton hands and then this one was a broken heart it's like half the heart here and half the heart there hey but yeah anyways i got these at the christmas tree shops which is right next door to our five below i got this greenish pumpkin with the gold leaf and then it's got like the gold distressing in it i'm trying to steer away from like the black and orange and i also got this pumpkin yeah so i got those from christmas tree shops and then from meyer i found this on clearance it was three dollars it's friends lip balms obviously i had to have it because it was friends it just says flavored lip balms it doesn't tell me the actual flavors here's this one and then we have this one with the straw. This one's more like a frap. And this one's like the travel coffee mug. This one is so cute. It's like the coffee mug, but it looks like it's got coffee in it. So cute. It's just a clear balm. These ones probably are too. Yeah, these are just clear balms too. 
and they smell really good. These two are like twist up balms and then this one you, you just like dip your finger in it. Now we'll get into Dollar Tree stuff and I'll show you the fall decor first. I'm so excited about the fall decor because like I said, I'm trying to steer away from like the orange black, like the traditional colors. I do have some orange, but it's like a rusty orange. Other than that, I'm doing lots of neutral colors, beiges and browns. And then I have a little bit of that green and a little bit of the blue. Then I've got some really cute pink decor specifically for my vanity and like my little makeup area. We'll start with these little pumpkins. They're like a, maybe a plastic. They feel like ceramic though, but they're not heavy. So I got like this green and yellow one. I love the shape of them. And then this one is like a, a tannish orange. And then I love these ones so much. They look like wood. Maybe it's that same material. They're definitely breakable, whatever they are. If you were to drop these, they would probably shatter. They're two different shapes, but they're just brown with the white. So cute. And they have like wood grain in them. Oh, I got one more of those. These ones, it's just orange and green. So I got three of those in different colors. I got this gold one. I thought I had two of these. I feel like I had two different shapes of these. This was just a gold pumpkin, so I liked that. And it's got the little curly stem, so I thought that was cute. I found these. I got two packs of them, and they're eight little miniature wooden pumpkins just to, like, scatter around in little vignettes. I'm so obsessed with these. I thought them were so cute. I grabbed a pack of these green cloth pumpkins, and there are five in here. Then I grabbed a pack of these gray, and they're leather and there's also five in here. I thought those were so cool. And then my really short fall haul that I did, I grabbed that little loaf thing. Well, I found this, which just says happy fall, and it's just like a tiny little bowl. I loved like the muted blue that's in there. I grabbed four of these, two different kinds. I grabbed two of these ones. Hey, where'd the little thing go? Okay, well, they're both supposed to have this little metal leaf detail. So it's like wrapped with gold twine with a little gold leaf. These ones are toasted marshmallow fluff. And then I grabbed two of these ones. These ones are like a cream color. And then these ones are like a burnt yellow. These are Bartlett Pear Cider. They both smell so good they're worth burning then i found these they're just little tags to like you know hang them like off of a tray or something there's this pumpkin one that says grateful and it's like leather the string is leather too and then there's this leaf one that says harvest you get two for a dollar 25. i found this there i like the color of it it looks more yellow on camera but it's like an ivory color i guess it changes like in the light it looks a little bit more gold but it's just a pumpkin tray it's just plastic and i was super excited about these they're all different colors oh there it is <laughs> they're all different colors of green they're like yarn pumpkins and they're the clips but i always just pull them off the clips and then i found these brown leather ones i absolutely love the color of these and i love that they're leather they're also the clips but how cool are those i just grabbed two of this baker's twine it's like the regular barn red and white baker's twine for like different diy projects and then i just grabbed this gold trim burlap i just thought it was really pretty so i grabbed two of each of those now i'm going to show you the really cute pink stuff that i got i found this how cute is this it's a rib cage but it's got little pink flowers on it and then a little pink stand i'm like how cute is this it's a freaking rib cage how cute but no seriously though it is cute this is so so cute it's little skull hands making a heart there's little roses down here and it's all pink it looks brown almost on camera but it's definitely pink freaking adorable i got this skull candle it's like light pink to dark pink ombre it's so freaking cute i know they sell the same exact one at target for like five dollars and i got this white one with a little pink flower on its head is that not so cute my vanity is going to be so cute for Halloween. And this isn't Halloween, but it was with the Halloween stuff, but it's just this rose trinket tray. It is glass and it's like the prettiest soft pink. I could put like rings on it or if I take my lashes off at night, I can just put my lashes in here until I put them away. I thought it was cute. I also got this. I forgot. I set it aside because it's more Halloween than fall. I just thought it was cute because I love witches. Oh, it lights up. I didn't know that. Cute. But this is the sound it makes. Let me see if I can get it to do it. How do I get it to do it? I thought it was like motion, motion censored. It is motion activated, so I don't know why it's not making the noise. Oh, man. Well, she has like a cackling witch laugh, but apparently mine is broken. Of course, the one that I pick don't work. So now we'll move on to household stuff. I grabbed this. It's supposed to be for belt, but I think I'm going to put it on Acacia's wall so she can hang her necklaces and stuff from it. I grabbed these. These are just like room refreshers. This is in Bamboo and Lotus, and this one's in Gardenia. These both smell absolutely incredible. So if you see these there, grab them up for sure. They smell so, so good. This one also smells 
smells good. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand. It's called Wizard, and this is in Morning Mist. It's also just a room mist, but it smells so good. These I found super interesting. They're supposed to be like the liquid IV from what I gather. They're called Hydromate. You can see right there, it says that one of them equals three glasses of water. So I thought I would try these to see if they're comparable to the liquid IV. I grabbed these. Whenever I see different ones, I always get them. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Disney princesses and they're just the little washcloths. And so I got this little aerial one. Anna, I'm not like the biggest Frozen fan. Don't come for me. I'm more into like the classic, like original princesses. And then Jasmine. Moving on, we'll do hair stuff. I found this little brush with Ariel and Aurora on it. It's pink and sparkly. I had to have it, obviously. I got a few scrunchies. I said earlier that I have like this obsession with butterflies right now. So I thought this was so cute. It's like a sheer scrunchie, but it's got different colored butterflies all over it. Obviously it was pink with pearls, two things I'm completely obsessed with, and it's like silk. So I had to grab that one. This one I thought was so cute and it reminds me of the 50s so much. Anytime I see this color blue with cherries, it reminds me of the 50s for some reason. Then it also has this pearl. I thought that was adorable. And I grabbed three of these. They're just like floral scrunchies. I got this pink one, blue and green one, and then this blue and pink one. They are all so cute, so shabby chic. Anybody that is into like the whole shabby chic or cottage core aesthetic, these are perfect. I got these, they're so cute. I got a pink one and a purple one and they're just like this tulle material with these flowers all over them. I also got, it's like the same material, but it's a bow. And you guys know I have a huge collection of bows. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. I'll be happy to show you. But I also got the pink one too, the one to match this, but I already wore it. So it's in my vanity already. I got these, but they're like these neon colors snap clips they have these little butterflies on them i had to get them and then these clips so there's like this lighter pink it's coming off more peach on camera but it's like a powder pink and then the darker pink and then i got two packs of these i got them to like clip my hair back when i'm doing my makeup but i got two packs that way i can wear the same color on each side they're like these pastel colors and then a black one i got two headbands that are so cute i've been really into headbands lately especially these big poofy ones and this is like that teddy bear material and it's got the knot on the top but it's a pretty powder pink and then obviously I had to get this one. It's a pearl one. How pretty and dainty is that? So cute. The rest of the stuff is all beauty related. First I got this. I got it to put like makeup brushes in or lip pencils or mascaras or anything like that. But it's just this cute little pink kitty cat. I've been seeing these in my Dollar Tree for the longest time, these little brushes. But I've passed up on them so many times. I seen in Juicy Jazz's videos, she has raved about these brushes. So of course I had to get all the colors. So I got like this blue and purple one dark pink and light pink one and then this all pastel colored pink purple and blue but she said that these are really really good for like detail work on your eyes these are the brushes so we have like this flat to pack on like a lid color or something and then we've got like this angled one to do like more detailed work in the crease and then we've got this tiny angled one for liner or anything like that and we've got this little pencil brush this is probably the smallest pencil brush i own so i'm excited to give those all a try these i found so interesting they're like beauty blenders but with a handle this one's just like a round flat one and then this one got the angle on it so you could get like up under your eyes and plus they're pink so i like that i love pink and gold together it's like the best aesthetic ever so i thought i'd give those a try the handles are like very light hollow plastic very cheap feeling but they're still really cute but they're like actually really squishy just like a beauty blender it doesn't say if you're supposed to wet them or not it's definitely gonna be fun testing these out but so that's what those look like. I just needed some more crease brushes, so I grabbed this Wet n Wild one. I like colors. I grabbed a bunch of stuff from them. So I grabbed three of these lipsticks because Marissa Marie, she raves about these. One of them's like her favorite. I wonder if I got it. Yes, this one is her favorite. This one's in O oh Teddy. This one is in Pinky Swear. And then this one is in Bear With Me. They're all forms of nudes. You know my favorites. This is what they look like, by the way. Formulated to nourish and hydrate. This creamy lip color gives a nude glam look, so it's creamy and hydrating. I'm obsessed with all of them. This one again is O Teddy. This one's Pinky Swear, and this one's Bear With Me. I grabbed one blush and one highlighter. The blush is in Peachy Keen. The highlighter is in Glowing. Here's the highlighter. Very pretty. Oh, wow. I honestly didn't think it was going to be that intense. The blush, that's what she looks like. Peachy pink. Oh my God, she's so pretty. I'm obsessed with blush. 
very pretty. It's got a little bit of a glow to it. Very pretty though. And then the last things from LA Colors, I got two of these liners. I got the white one and the black one. These are automatic liners. The black one is called Darkness. This is what it looks like. Okay, very creamy and glides on very easily. There's no tugging or anything. And when I was like in high school, LA Colors was not it, y'all. They've definitely stepped their game up. Here's the white one. Definitely pigmented. We never have earrings at my Dollar Tree either. We never have any kind of jewelry at all there. And I've seen these earrings. I've never been into like the leopard print either or any animal print, but I have been lately and I thought these were super cute. For a dollar twenty-five, you can't beat it. Oh, I grabbed these. I had never seen this brand there before. OBI. It's either OBI or ABI skincare. But this is what caught my attention because it looks like the Belief Aqua Bomb. It looks like the old packaging, so I was wondering if it was comparable to that at all. This is Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Cream. And then this is Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So this is what the packaging looks like. I actually really like the packaging. That's what it looks like. It actually smells really good. It smells nice and fresh. This one's clear. Oh, it's very like jelly. Dropper works. This doesn't really have a scent to it, but I will let you guys know how these products work. I've never seen this there either. This is from Bath and Beauty. This is a makeup brush cleanser and it's rinse free and quick drying. So I thought it would be like the It Cosmetics one. I forget what it's called, but you guys know what I'm talking about in the pink bottle. You can just spray your brushes with it, wipe it on like a towel or whatever, and it dries really quickly. That way you can spot clean them in between your deep clean. I've seen this there for months and months and months and months, and I've always been intrigued by the packaging and I never got it, but I did finally pick it up this is from global beauty care and this is the so fresh so clean astringent dynamic drying lotion with calamine it looks just like the mario badescu one and the packaging is what drew me in i don't use drying lotions a whole lot it's really liquidy and then it's got like the pink powder on the bottom so everybody usually shakes them up but you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to just dip the q-tip down into the powder and then bring the q-tip back up through the liquid and that's how you're supposed to apply it but anyways the bottle is super cute so i got that i found this highlighter wet and wild this is in the shade hummingbird hype this is what she looks like it's like rose gold it's got that really pretty hummingbird on it i already know this is gonna be gorgeous because i love one wild wow definitely rose gold that would be a really really pretty on the eyes too i got a ton of stuff from bolero i've mentioned bolero before i don't know if they're specifically sold at dollar tree or if they're sold anywhere else they are very high end in my opinion very high end products at an affordable price i always try to grab these i love the pink ones they're watermelon and sweet mint a very light scent there's 30 of them in in here so they're hydrating and cleansing i grabbed this facial mist it says shine on it pink pineapple and hibiscus it says refresh and brighten your beautiful skin it's not actually a setting spray but you can use it like throughout the day to freshen up your makeup or whatever i also grabbed this this is banana and coconut milk hydrating concentrated elixir and it's in this bag this is what she looks like i like the colors Oh, okay. It's like a jelly. Oh, oh my God. It smells so freaking good. I'm obsessed. Oh my God. It smells so good. But it smells like banana Laffy Taffy. That's exactly what it smells like. Oh my God. It smells so good. I grabbed this jelly facial serum in rosehip and hyaluronic acid. It says a magical blend made with hydrating ingredients for radiant skin. And the packaging is so pretty with the flowers on it. And this is what she looks like. Definitely smells like roses. Rose is like one of those, you either love it or you hate it. I personally love it. Dropper works. I like that. I love Bolero. And then I grabbed some masks. So I've got rose water and retinol paper mask, and this is for calming and brightening. Honey and glycolic acid paper mask, and this is for firming and smoothing. The pineapple and probiotics paper mask, and this is for moisturizing and boosting. Speaking of masks, I got a bunch more. I got two from this brand, Bio Miracle, and I have used the brand before. Charcoal Bubble Mask. The mask that I used from this brand before was a bubble mask, but it was like pink. It's infused with collagen. Activating charcoal and infused with hyaluronic acid and retinol for a clear, detoxified, smoother looking skin. I got Detox Collagen Face Mask infused with charcoal and seaweed for purifying and brightening. I've never seen this there. This is from Palmer's Co. 
coconut oil. And this is the coconut water hydrating sheet mask for an instant boost in hydration and radiance. And it says it's got hyaluronic acid in it. The rest of the ones that I got are from the brand Be Pure, which I know that they have Be Pure and then they have Be Color. It is the same brand. So from Be Pure, I got this facial spa kit. I thought this was really cool because it comes with facial oil with rose oil extract. And then it also comes with a rose quartz gua sha. For $1.25 to get both is super cool. Do you guys know I love my fun masks? So I got this glitter face mask and it is a peel off gel mask. It is bare scented and that's what it looks like and then I got this sprinkles face mask and it is also berry scented it looks like that this is the mermaid face mask and this is citrus scented and it just looks like that like a mermaid I found this big old bottle of cosmic metallic peel off mask and this is Freeman mask which you know are way more than a dollar 25 at any other store love the pink packaging for one but this is six fluid ounces so that was an awesome deal speaking of be pure this I thought looked so intriguing. This is infused pressed face powder. It's infused with green tea. It provides smooth matte finish, sets makeup, and controls shine. So this is what the box looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's just plastic packaging. This is what she looks like just translucent wow you can tell just on my hand how smoothing it is though i hope it looks like that on the skin i can't wait to try that out and then these i'm not sure what happened to the box these both came in the same box i think i mentioned in my little bath and body works haul that i collect this kind of hand creams so i obviously wanted to grab these this one is in rose and vanilla and it's a pink one and this is from the brand spa luxury and then this one is in coconut milk it's a blue one. These are both one fluid ounces, but I just love these. I grabbed this hard candy. I finally found one of these. Everybody was hauling them, and I finally found one maybe a year ago. Well, I found another one. This is the hard candy Fox in a Box, and this is in the shade Party Girl, and it says it's chocolate scented. Is it a bronzer? It is. It's a baked bronzer. The one that I got last year was a highlighter, so it's exciting. But everybody was hauling them because they look very similar to Benefit's packaging. Not anymore because Benefit has changed up their packaging now. Wow, definitely smells like chocolate. I can smell it already. Here's what she looks like, and it's got the little brush that you never use. This is what she looks like. And this is what the box looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. Since it's baked, it will have that glow factor very pretty very pretty bronzer shade so now i have a highlighter and a bronzer i guess i should have showed these in the household stuff they're from the brand luminescence and they're just fragrance oils the little essential oils this one is toasted marshmallow fluff which is the same as one of the candles that i got this one is french toast and pumpkin butter when i tell you guys that these smell a uh, freaking amazing you have to try them if you haven't already if you have a oil diffuser they will make your house smell bomb i got three packs of nails these ones say b color this one is b pure but you see it's the same little logo but anyways these are all from b color and i got these little pink and purple pastel ones and then they have like a gold stripe dividing the two colors and then these ones i thought were so freaking cute they're like a nude nail color with a light pink heart in the middle of all of them i thought those were so pretty and then i had to get these they have a baby blue and white Ying yang on them and then some of them just have like a baby blue tip this stuff i am pretty excited about because i've never i didn't know that ardell did cosmetics i thought they just did lashes i found so much ardell cosmetics there i bought like one of everything i found this photo faced matte foundation this is in the shade medium 8.0 this was the lightest shade that they had so i'm hoping it's not too dark i can always get like a mix in medium to make it lighter it's like one of these dropper style it's definitely way too dark for me right now i like the finish of it it's really nice i found two concealers i found photo face concealer so it's the same line as the foundation and then i found camouflage not camouflage camouflage the camouflage is in dark seven the photo face concealer i got in the shade light 2.5 that one will actually be a good concealer shade for me here is the photo face one it's like a squeeze tube full coverage highly pigmented oh it has like a brush on it i don't know how well i like that definitely full coverage for sure this might even be a little bit too light so maybe if i mix the two this is just your regular flat doe foot 
So yeah, if I mix the two, that'll be almost perfect for me. I was really excited about these. I found these two liquid mix and drops. It actually says shade FX drops. So they're kind of like the color FX ones. Mix into favorite formula, dab over makeup or wear on bare skin. We have like this gold one and then we have pinky rose gold one. So the gold one is in perfectly lit. And then the rose gold one is in the shade glow mate. So this is like the pinky one. Yeah, look at that, wow. That is so pretty. Oh, I'm excited about these. And then we'll do this gold one. Wow, oh yeah, she gold. I don't know if I would use that one for a highlight, but it might be really pretty to mix in with a foundation and bronze up your skin a little bit, or even for like an eyeshadow topper. Them are both very freaking pretty, so I highly recommend these. They're called Attitude Adjusters, shade FX drops. I found this eyeshadow palette. It's called Sensual Eyes. It's a little eyeshadow quad, and this one is in Love Lust. This is what she looks like. They're all shimmers. Here are all the colors. These are two shimmers, and then these are mattes with glitter in them. This one right here swatched so insanely good. The pigment on that is like, holy crap. You can't deny that the pigment is there on all four shades. I was super excited about these, these lip liners. I got one in every color that they had. But these are called No Slip Liquid Lip Liners. Oh, wait a minute. I've never seen a liquid lip liner. And this is in the shade Erotic Point. Oh, wow. Will it bleed? That is so interesting. I've never seen a liquid lip liner before. Have you guys? This one's in the shade Sweet Hunger, and it's this purpley one. Blindfold. Sultry Red. No Privacy Please. On Peak. Amped. So that's like a really pretty like mauvey pink. I really like that. Not an invitation. A serious risk. They're all very pretty. These will be very interesting to test out and play with. I saved the best stuff for last. We'll start out with the lashes. I wanted to try these individual ones. These are the Faux Mink Individual Lash Extensions. It says that they have 3D curls. There's 16 individuals. So I got these ones in Natural Doll. They're wispy, but they're a little bit longer. And then these ones are a little bit shorter, but still wispy. These ones are in natural cat eye. You can see they're both wispy. It's just that these ones are a little bit longer. I grabbed two of the shorter ones. I had never tried the Ioni lash glue before. The packaging is so freaking cute on Ioni stuff. It's just so like whimsical and pretty that I grabbed the regular lash glue. I've heard mixed reviews on the lash glue, so I'm just gonna try it for myself. It does say it's 100% vegan. Pink and white packaging. It's just a clear glue and it's called the Everlasting Lash Glue. But then I seen this and this is called the two Two in one everlasting lash liner. This is in black and the packaging is freaking adorable. It's not in here because Acacia used it the other day for her lashes. Look at this packaging though with like the little Victorian people and like the butterflies and the flowers. It's so freaking cute. Those lashes and the lash glue was not Halloween themed. Everything else is Halloween themed, I believe. The brow pencil is not. We'll get to that in a minute. And these are all eyeliners. So I grabbed this pencil eyeliner in Frankie Loves Black and it says it's waterproof and it says it's precise. That's what it looks like. I feel like this is gonna be pigmented though. Oh yeah, wow. That's nice, I can't wait to try that out. And then I got two colored ones. Here's the packaging on them. These are also waterproof. I got one in purple and one in blue. The blue one is called the Mummy Spell. The purple one is called the Mummy Awakes. So here they are. So these ones are the actual pencils. So these ones are easier to sharpen. So here's the purple one. Very nice and creamy. They don't like tug. Those are really pretty and I'm excited about those. I got this other eyeliner. This is liquid felt tip eyeliner. This is also waterproof and it's extreme black and it says precise wing. This one's just called Frankie Black and this is what it looks like. I'm really picky about my liquid liners. So that's what it looks like. Wow, very precise. And then this is from the Zodiac collection. I got the brow pencil. This is Natural Brow Perfect Arch. This is also waterproof. Is all their makeup waterproof? This is what the packaging looks like. Very cute, just like everything else. And this is in the color medium brown. This is what it looks like. It's just a regular pencil. I'm pretty picky about my brow pencils too. 
I do like the color a lot. I feel like this is actually gonna be really good. The last four things that I got are blushes and highlighters. I got three blushes and a highlight. I got two blushes from the Creature Collection. Pigmented color, soft texture, buildable and blendable, and complements all skin tones. This one is Creature Sea Peach, and then this one is Creature Sea Rose. So cute! I do already have a highlight from them. I remember it was hard to stay closed. All I did was like set a heavy book on mine overnight, and now it closes just fine. But this is freaking cute so here is the front of it this is c rose it does have the name on the back the back is cute too then here's the inside which is also really cute i'm so excited about these Oh, that's cute. You guys know I love my blushes. The packaging kind of looks the same. This is the one we just did. This is the C Peach. So it's like the same girl, just different colors. The inside's the same. It says classic horror queens on the back. It's cute. I like that. This one is C Peach. That's so pretty. Ooh, you see that shift in it? So this is definitely a glowy one. Wow, that is so pretty. And then the last two, I got a blush and a highlight from the Phantom Collection. The blush is called the Phantom Pink. The highlight is called the Phantom Glow. This is what the packaging looks like of the blush. This is what the box looks like. Oh my God, she is so cute. The little zombie girl with pink hair. This is what the back looks like. This is what the inside looks like. See, this one is having trouble staying closed. This is exactly what I was talking about. So if you just set heavy book on this and leave it overnight, it'll close just fine. This is what she looks like. This is my favorite packaging by far. Oh, she is so pretty. It's like a bubblegum pink. Oh my God, it's so cute. All three of those blushes are so freaking pretty. And this is the only highlight that I got. And this is the Phantom Glow. This is what the outer packaging looks like. It's the same as the blush, like the same girl. She's just orange. And then the same girl on the inside, just with orange hair. This is what she looks like though. Very pretty. This is right up my alley. These champagne highlighters are right up my alley. Ooh, that's gonna be so pretty. I knew it. I knew she was going to be freaking stunning. Well, after, you know, a year and a half, we are finally done with this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. It helps me get noticed a little bit more. I do have like a ton of stuff put up for a giveaway, a ton of makeup and skincare items and other little goodies. If you guys can help me get to 500 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your mom to subscribe, your uncle, your grandpa, your grandma all your friends tell them all to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys very soon in the next one bye this video is going to be like two hours long